Hey everybody, this is Vic LaPlaca here with Marie Max Zielinski in San Antonio. Today we're going to take a look at the all new G23 2020. This specific boat here really stands out. We have the white hole bottom with the main white sided body. And you'll see we have the metallic forest gray accent lines. To accompany it nicely, they went ahead and added the gold lettering and badges to this boat. I mean, hands down, one of the best looking boats that I've seen. We've got the Mocha Sea Deck on the swim platform along with the inside of the boat. We got a white tower, the upgraded wakeboard racks, the seamless windshield, giving it that sharp, stealthy look, of course. This boat has 2,850 pounds of ballast, all subfloor, which is what helped make it have one of the best waves in the industry. It has an overall fuel capacity of 65 gallons, max capacity of 16 people, a draft of 25 inches, and a beam of 102 inches. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. As we board the rear of the boat, we'll admire this nice transom seating here that Nautique has incorporated on the rear of the boat. You'll see it's you know pretty wide, a lot wider than what's on the GS models. Looks like you could fit about two people per side. We've got the nice transom cooler here. It's very convenient when you're hanging out, tied up in a cove or something. You don't have to run in and out of the boat to uh, grab beverages. We got the cup holders there to accommodate the people sitting in the rear facing seats there. Nice gradual step up, center walk through of course. Cool thing that I like about Nautique that they really did was they put, you know, sea deck spots throughout the gunnel of the boat there. In front of the tower, behind the tower, on the rear sides of the compartments. Just spots where they think that it'd be more common where people would stand to access the racks or people would stand to you know access the pockets on the top of the bimini or even if it's just a spot there for your kids to jump off the side of the boat opening up the rear hatches here you'll see that there's an immense amount of storage and that's because Nautique has a uh, subfloor ballast 2850 pounds of subfloor ballast which is very nice maximizes your amount of storage to put stuff in back here boards skis whatever it may be these compartments do run up through the uh, seating in here so plenty of uh, length in the storage compartments got your pop-out uh, roll holders You can also opt for the filler cushion that goes right there in the center walkthrough in case you wanted to make that just a large sun pad. They snap up inside the latch there and then they swing out so it makes it very easy to store them and they're not in the way. This boat, the color combination from the exterior flows very nicely on the inside. We got the Mocha Sea Deck flooring along with the majority of the upholstery is white, but they went ahead and added some green accent spots along with the green piping. And then if you pay very close attention, you'll see it looks like they got gold stitching there. Very nice, complements the gold accents throughout the inside of the boat where the grab handles are and the tower base along with the emblems. Tons of storage. The fit and finish in Nautique is just, I mean, next to none. You see they got Sea Deck in the compartments. It's a nice finish. Onboard charger, of course. 
Got the stadium style seating, giving the passenger that sits in the bow wing seat feet room so they're not hanging outside in the middle of the walkway. And then of course, this pops open. And there you go. Everybody can hang back and watch their surfer or wakeboard or whatever it may be. Plenty of USB and 12 volt outlets throughout this boat. Uh, new in 2020, they went ahead and did a cordless phone charger pad. So that's very nice there. I know a lot of people will appreciate that. Seems like when you're on the water, the phones tend to die a lot quicker than any other time. This boat in specific, they went ahead and opted for the wind dam. So beneath the Bimini boot cover here, you'll see we got the wind dam. Plenty of storage, carpet lined on the top half, sea deck on the bottom, your trash can, fire extinguisher, marvelous JL audio amps. JL really has just complimented Nautique very nicely. Another cool feature about this boat is that we went ahead and opted for the upgraded interior lighting package. So you'll see all the cup holders have uh, LED rings underneath the stainless bezels. And all the courtesy lightings throughout the boat are synced with those cup holder lights. So when you go to the settings here, if you can uh, see through the glare, you'll simply just turn on courtesy lights and you can change the color and put them on a sequence or whatever it may be. It's a very cool feature, I really like that. So you can match the lights as these are lit up at the current moment green to match the green accenting throughout the boat. With this stereo, we also have the wave front speakers help project the sound off the windshield back into the cockpit of the boat, giving you that surround sound like stereo sound or quality, should I say. This boat we went ahead and also opted for the over the tower cover with the electric tower bases. You go ahead and unlock it rotate it as the instructions say so come over here and you just hit the tower down and it'll light up hold the power and it folds down and then you simply throw your cover over the entire boat keeping it uh, really secure from the elements nice large glove box sea deck on the inside a spot for the phone Media Master 100, one of the best head units in the industry in my opinion. Plenty of uh, phone charging capabilities. That'll be for actually playing music through USB quality. And then those are just charging ports, 12 volt and an aux. On the side of the console here, we have the battery switch. Opposite side of it, you'll have your trash can tracks for where the wind dam will slide on in pop up armrest in the bow making it very comfortable to ride up here given the hole design makes it very dry also little push button right there they fold down out of the way pop up cleats nothing less in this boat we went ahead also and opted for the fender quick disconnects it's very nice Makes it easy to throw out your fenders. No need to tie them up on the cleats and take up space for the dock lines. Can't forget the nice large subfloor cooler. Of course, matching sea deck with the matching uh, gold emblem on it to match your boat. And if that's not enough space, you simply go ahead and remove the cooler. Close the plug, fill that up with ice, and you got a lot more uh, space there for beverages. Got the larger uh, 
rear view mirror there. It's very nice, convenient. Also have the uh, awareness cam down below. So you can see everything behind you, your rider. This Link Panera A screen is awesome. I mean, tons of features. You can control everything here via touch screen, or you can go ahead and if you're driving the boat, obviously you got one hand here on the throttle and the helm control rotary dial right here, which makes it very easy to control everything on the screen. You'll see those three icons, the two below, they are all duplicated on the screen. Now taking a look at the heart of this beast, it's going to be the PCM ZZ6 direct injection from PCM. Very nice. Got the accent lighting there, making this thing look like a monster. It is closed cooled. Let's see the coolant reservoir back here. Very reliable, proven engine. Well, I hope this uh, walkthrough is very fun and informative for you folks. If you have any questions in regard to this Nautique or any other Nautique in our inventory, please feel free to give me a call. 210-301-2507. Or drop by one of our stores here in San Antonio, one in Austin, or in Lakeway. Thank y'all, and we'll see you on the water.